What's up guys, Fathead Dino here. This is my first ever unboxing video, so I hope you guys just enjoy it. And we're going to get straight into it, and we're going to review the box just a little bit. So let's get into it. So, as you guys see right here, the box is pretty basic. It's a normal Marvel Legends box. You can see most of the body. He doesn't have that much accessories, as you can see. And you can see his um, Moon Knight silhouette, I guess. And Moon Knight back again. So I'm just going to get the box open, and I'll be right back. As we're back, and this figure is probably one of the best Marvel Legends I have ever owned. I do own like a couple more, but this is probably the best. So I'm just gonna get into like the paint job and stuff. So as you see, um, it does look like a lot like he's from the show, and the paint job is pretty basic on him. So there's not that much to talk about other than like they did like the sculpting wise, and but the paint is pretty cool. But I'm just gonna get into the paint job fast, and yeah. So, it's basically like a white with gold, and I'll show you some stuff. So, up at here is more like a grayish, as you see. And the cape is all gray and stuff. So, the hood and the cape is basically just one whole kind of grayish. And then, if you get down here, you got more gray right there. So, like, the bandaging on him, the wrap, bitch, or whatever you want to call it, is also like... A gray but it's just a white but like yeah I don't know how to say it um so yeah there's some like little types of gold here like there and you know and then you got more of like a silver instead of a gray you got more of a silver right there which I do think helps to blend it out but then his markings all gray don't know if I can get that steady. Sorry about that. But there's also gray. Then you got little gold paint up right there. So, yeah. And if you didn't notice about the show, these, like, symbols or whatever you... These symbols or whatever you want to call it are actually, like, um... Real, I want to say. I'm not sure. Well, I, I think that's what they said are real. So, yeah. So, let's just get into it, okay? So, I'm going to get straight with articulation and stuff. So... Um, yeah, we'll go head down. So his head, it will kind of get hindered by the cape, but it can go up a little bit. I don't know if you can see that. Down, it can look down, and the down is actually pretty good, as you see. Um, so yeah, he has an arm. The arm can come out. It has a double elbow. It, it, it's also a pinless. Oh, wait. Then you got the swivel right here. I don't know. Uh, how do you see that? There you go. Swivel right there. And I don't really like that. Because it does break it up, as you can see. So, yeah. But you got the double elbow right here. Wow. I do actually not like that. It just kind of collapses in on itself. Anyway, double elbow. And then you can also twist his hand. As you see. Um, then it's the same with the other side. You got a um, ball joint. He can't really go up that far. But let's see down. He can go down. Like far. Uh, he has a. He did, does he have a waist level? It. Oh I think he does. Uh, yeah. He might have another like waist. Yeah. I don't, yeah. Then his legs. They can kick out that much they can come in uh, pin this double knee can go up about that far I think I mean yeah my joints are pretty stiff for like the other knees then he does not have one of the side things he has a he can move his shoe up, down, side to side, right, side to side, as you see. And, yeah, I'm going to come back with his head fast. As you see, his um head... 
focus. I'm not sure. So yeah, I just think this like figure is a pretty good action figure. And you know, um I'm gonna talk about his accessories right now. So yeah. But then I will get back to the figure. Oh. He comes with two fists, which I will put on. Put them on right now. I'll just pop one off and put one on for you. I'll put on this one. How about that? Now he has one fist and one hand. As you see. And then he has the two um, moon things, if I guess if you want to call it, or whatever. Now, as you guys know, in the show, he does use them, and they come out of his little chest area. But, you know, these are way too big. But, as you see, they made them like this, and that, so you could just clip it in there. And it's one, which I find pretty cool. So, I'll get him to hold one of them. Maybe. I don't know. Like that. There we go. Like this. Voila. So, yeah. I'm, I know I'm just kind of jumping around, but I'm going to get, like, back to, like, the paint job fast. And as... This, I guess I'll talk about maybe like the sculpting, but as you see, the sculpting is actually done really good with all like the wrapping and stuff on it. Like they looked like they actually took time in this, as you see, of all this like extra wrapping. And you know, it gets a little blame down here, but if you flip this up, you see there's a peg right there that it just plugs into, but um. Yes, like the sculpting on it, especially the face. I mean, that face is really good. So, yeah, especially the eyes. Like, the eyes just bring this character to life. So, yeah, this, yeah. I, overall, I think this character is probably one of the best Marvel Legends characters out there. And I say that... Because this character is probably, like, the best one. Because, like, you know, it, like, it is basically, like, kind of one solid cut of its own. Because you got, like, two different types of grays. You got just, like, you know, one. You got the silver and gray. And you got the one white and stuff. And, you know. It's just a bit plain. But it is, like, a really cool figure. And stuff. So... That's what I say about it. And I think I'm going to try to get this guy some poses. So, I don't, I'm not sure I'm going to do this. Uh, yeah, I'm not really sure. I guess I'll be right back to sh show you some poses. Okay, and here it is. Moon Knight in his action pose. I actually kind of do like this pose, actually. It... I was investing around with it just for like maybe like a minute or so. And I came up with this. Um, yep, I guess he's just looking off into the distance somewhere. Hopefully there's a bad guy. But you know. I do think this figure is probably the best Marvel Legends figure that there is. And I say that with hope that we'll get another great Marvel Legends. And you know. A lot of Marvel Legends has been, like, body use after body use now. And there have been some new stuff with, like, you know, some of the X-Men stuff that they've been putting out. And, yeah. But I'm just hoping that, you know, we get some more stuff. And, yes, I will be doing more of this wave. I do have some of them already, so I'll probably just, like, be reviewing them later on, maybe this week or so. But, yes. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and it was my first, so... I apologize if the camera quality is bad or anything, but I do hope you guys enjoyed this video, and please like and subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads, and goodbye, and have a wonderful MCU day.